Aloha and welcome back to the Flying Doctor channel. Today our journey begins in Honolulu, Hawaii because today's the day that Hawaiian Airlines finally gets to begin their first revenue flight using the Dreamliner. I'll be on board the Boeing 787 Dreamliner headed over to San Francisco in their premium economy class. So if you're interested to see what it's all about, check out the new cabin layout. Sit back, relax, get ready for another flight review. I arrived in Hawaii less than 20 hours earlier aboard the second longest domestic flight in the world. That video will be coming out soon, so be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Splurging for an Uber, the 60 minute bus ride from Waikiki to the airport was reduced to 20 minutes, but ended up costing me $30, about 10 times as much as the bus fare. The last time I was in Honolulu, I was transferring, so didn't get the full airport experience. The main check-in hall appears to have recently undergone a complete makeover, with modern lighting and a very open, clean environment. The color scheme and usage of wood throughout the check-in hall and airport share similarities with what you'll find aboard Hawaiian's aircraft. The design aesthetics are meant to bring Hawaii to the passenger from the very beginning of their journey. With the unnecessary printed pass in hand, I made my way airside. If you ever find yourself daydreaming of getting back to the airport and flying, need a little background noise to drown out your surroundings, or are curious to see what it's like airside at various airports across the world, consider checking out my playlist called Rollerboard Diaries. I try to showcase the perspective a rollerboard luggage has when being dragged through the airport and give you a little history on the airport. Once at the gate, it was apparent that a celebration was in store. The gate area quickly filled with other av geeks and Hawaiian style music preceded the actual dedication ceremony. No matter where we perform, we always bring the dancers. Um, being this is, we leave today and come home tomorrow. Benefits we're going to have two dancers <laughs> today. Uh, and Kalingani is dressed in a uh, traditional hula costume, the la'i or tea leaf skirt. These green leaves grow throughout our islands. The ladies gather the leaves, take them home, and fashion their hula skirt. Before we actually board Hawaiian's newest aircraft, let's go back in time and look at how Hawaiian Airlines made it to this point. Almost a century ago, in 1929, the airline was known as Inter-Island Airways, which operated just two eight-seater Sikorsky aircraft and a Belanca monoplane. Their mission was to connect their islands and bring their people closer. In 1941, the company ended up changing its name to what it is known as today and introduced Douglas DC-3s, which remained in operation until 1968. Two years earlier, in 1966, introduction of jets revolutionized inter-island travel. Over the years, the airline expanded its fleet to include various models such as the McDonnell Douglas DC-10, Boeing 767, Airbus A330, Boeing 717s, and others.
like to welcome you aboard on this very special day for our very first passenger flight, introducing our brand new Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Today's flight is on none other than Hawaiian's first Dreamliner, Kapuahi. Delivered less than three months ago, November 781 Hotel Alpha is the first of 12 787-9s Hawaiian has ordered. The average flight time for this route is 4 hours and 31 minutes, covering a distance of 3,860 kilometers. Taking a more detailed look at the seat layout, you'll notice Hawaiian departed from their standard partner layout. On their A330 aircraft, business class is configured 222, while the economy section is in a 242 layout. This ensures that couples have the greatest chance of finding a seat together, as a good chunk of Hawaiian's market is leisure travel. What are your thoughts on Hawaiian's new seat layout? I'm seated in one of 266 economy seats, more specifically, 16 Juliet, an extra comfort seat overlooking the leading edge of the wing. We'll take a closer look at the seat itself after takeoff. Ground Hawaiian 12, with you, Lima, spot 8 on Lima, back down the runway, uh, uh, two right, or 26 right. Was that Hawaiian 12 heavy? That's affirmative. Is this the first passenger flight with this guy? It sure is. Heck yeah. Okay, Hawaiian 12 Heavy, runway 26 right, taxi via Alpha, hold short, runway 22 right. Okay, taxi to 26 right, uh, via Alpha, hold short of 22 right, Hawaiian 12 Heavy. As we were pushed back from the gate, the IFE screens began showing the brand new safety video. In traditional Hawaiian Airlines style, the safety video was a hefty six minutes long. Aloha and welcome aboard. When you're here with us, you're in Hawaii. Aloha a e koma mai i kava'a lele. Ke lele oi me mako, lele pu oi me ko Hawaii. Here at Hawaiian Airlines, your safety is our number one priority. Please give us your attention as crew members share important safety information from some of our favorite places throughout our island home. On behalf of all of us here at Hawaiian Airlines, thank you very much for choosing to fly with us. Mahalo nui ike kohoana e lele pume mako. Enjoy your flight. Taxiing to the runway, we pass the other Dreamliner Hawaiian currently has delivered, November 780 Hotel Alpha, as well as a handful of ground staff waving goodbye. Cabin crew, please be seated for takeoff. Line 12 Heavy, runway 26 right, line up away. Strap, then you on the cross runway, trap, part downfield. Line up away, runway 26 right, line 12 Heavy. Line 12 Heavy, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 26 right, clear for takeoff, line 12 Heavy. Ability to change the window dimming settings, so it's a bit of a 
bummer, but again, there's really not much to see in between here and San Francisco, so let's see what the uh, in-flight experience is all about here on this new 787 Dreamliner. When seated in extra comfort, there is ample legroom if you are on the tall side. I myself am 6 feet 4 inches and was very comfortable in my seat even with a large bag underneath the seat in front of me. The tray table itself is standard and the IFE screen is ample in size. Each seat offers a USB-A and USB-C charging port and a full power plug is shared between two seats. Throughout the duration of the flight, the cabin lighting will resemble that of a Hawaiian sunset or sunrise. When set to night mode, Fiber optic lights embedded within the ceiling mimic a starry night sky. The captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Please return to your seats and fasten. Not too long into our flight, we were passing through some large cumulonimbus clouds that generated moderate turbulence. I tried getting some good footage of the wing flexing and engine moving, but I think the best footage I got was the audio at the beginning. Alright, so the in-flight entertainment screen. Much needed improvement over what is installed on their other aircraft. It is relatively the same layout that you can see on their A330s. However, compared to what are installed on those aircraft, it is much more responsive. Listings available. There's quite a bit of listings and options for you to choose from. Uh, flight map is way better. Uh, they have a relatively okay section and selection of games. Let's see what about settings. Can you connect your Bluetooth headphones? This is how you would actually contact the phase if you needed or turn the light on above you. Let's go ahead and look at the flight map. So yes, a very, very good improvement over what was provided on their other aircraft here. Their explorer mode. You also have the option to look at your aircraft view. If you didn't have a window seat view, you could look to the left or the right. These are just simulated images. Or, I suppose if you're interested in what the... Uh, actually, this is what I'll be looking at for now on. Alrighty, we do get a meal. Today, it is a chicken sausage with mozzarella off a of sauce, parmesan air bagel roll. I also got the complimentary rum and punch, signature Hawaiian Airlines drink, and a glass of water. Let's unwrap this bad boy and see what it looks like and tastes like. I see a lot of cheese. Looks like it's missing some chicken, but you know what? It's free. And the Aloha hospitality is flying high today, so it works for me. While other mainline carriers do offer snacks and beverages, Hawaiian goes above and beyond providing a meal aboard each flight to the mainland. Even though the options are limited, the hospitality and willingness to continue serving passengers this way makes flying Hawaiian something to look forward to. From the colorful uniforms, aloha spirit, friendliness of the crew, and the company's continued embracement of Hawaii's traditional culture, this airline creates somewhat of its own category. Mainline carrier doesn't really fit because of the unique routes or onboard experience, but the airline is also far from a low-cost carrier or semi-private experience. Hawaiian, uh, 12 Heavy with the axle, inbound, uh, 28 right. Hawaiian 12 Heavy, Samsung Tower, wind 27012, runway 28 right, clear to land. Runway 28 right, clear to land. Flying 12 heavy, hold short, runway to left, contact ground, good night. Flying 12 heavy, hold short, runway to left, contact ground. Short to left, contact ground, runway to left, good night. We'd like to welcome everyone to San Francisco, California. Local time is just about 9.08 in the evening. We'll be taxing to the gate for the next few minutes.
It was six years ago in 2018 that Hawaiian publicly announced their purchase for 10 Boeing 787 Dreamliners with an option for 10 additional birds. When the announcement was made, Hawaiian also confirmed they had canceled an Airbus order for six A330-800 NEOs. With retirement of their 767s and an aging 717 fleet, this option ensured that Hawaiian would continue to operate Boeing aircraft for decades to come. The 787s were anticipated to replace the airline's current flagship, the A330-200, and would ultimately provide the airline with additional route options down the road. With the introduction of the Dreamliner, the airline that once served to simply connect the Hawaiian Islands can now connect virtually any two points across the globe on a single flight. As we pull into the gate and the captain turns off the fasten seatbelt sign, I'd like to thank you for watching. See ya!